Hi everyone, this is Chetan Nayak. This video provides a brief demonstration of bringing your own injection techniques to Brute Retail via the cough exec command. Till the previous releases of Brute Retail, the cough exec command did not provide any option to read a file from disk, which would normally be required when you are planning to execute a shell code into a target process or a local process using your own custom injection technique. The cough exec command did allow you to write your own custom injection techniques. However, you could not read a file from your local disk, which is really important when you are trying to do, let's say, the .NET execution or your shellcode execution of sorts. Starting from the v1.2 release, uh, the cough exec command provides another command called as set underscore cough args, which can be used to load any file that you require into memory. Let's take a look at how this can be performed. We have a file called as vainject.c. This C file takes a few command line arguments as can be seen here. The rv1 is supposed to be a process name which will be created. The rv0 is supposed to be a buffer. This can be a shellcode buffer or something similar. There is another new API introduced into the v1.2 release which can be used to extract the size of a buffer into memory. Once you extract that size, you can allocate it using virtual alloc x, write process memory, chain the permissions, and create a remote thread on that specific uh, executable region that we have. So let's see how we can supply the argv0 here because the argv1 can be supplied as a command line argument itself from the cough exec command, but the argv0 is something different because you would need to supply a file in that case. Starting from v1.2 release, you have a command called as set underscore cough args, which can read up to 10 unique file path and read those file buffers directly into memory and store them in an encrypted format. Whenever you specify the cough exec command, after loading files into memory, these memory buffers will be supplied as the first few command line arguments to your cough exec command that you have. Which means, let's say if you read up three different files from disk, the argv0, 1, and 2 will be your these three files, and the argv4 will be whatever command line argument that you specify here. So let's see how this works. I will create a default shell code here, which I'll store in my documents directory. I'll copy this path and I'll specify set underscore cough args the file path. Now what happens in this case is that this file path is read into memory and stored in an encrypted context. Whenever you execute cough exec, this buffer will be supplied as the first argument to your BOF that you have executed. And whatever commands you supply in the command line argument in the cough exec command, those will be the subsequent command line arguments. So if I type cough exec, I will build this va inject.c file that we have the whole path slash obj slash va inject 64.0 when i execute this cov file it will return me an error stating that it requires at least two arguments in this case currently we have already supplied one argument which is via the uh, set underscore cov args command the argv2 or sorry the argv1 is what we need to supply so if i have something like let's say notepad this will be my argv1 the buffer will be my argv0 this will be supplied to our va inject.c file which will create a new process on for notepad.exe extract the size of your shellcode buffer using the badger get buffer size bof api and execute that into memory using the virtual alloc techniques Let's see how this looks like. We can see we have received a new connection here from notepad.exe and a few set of metadata that we printed from our BOF. So this is a quick example as to how you can bring your own custom in-house injection techniques to brute retail. This technique is not just limited to your shellcode execution. If you have a shellcode which can read up your .NET code and execute your .NET code into memory, maybe using one of your own injection in te techniques that you have built in-house, you can supply more than one command line argument to your set underscore cough R 
and load multiple files up to a limit of 10 into memory and if you whatever files you read they will be supplied as the first few command line arguments to your cough exec followed by your actual command line argument that you supplied manually so this is a quick video of using cough exec to bringing your own injection techniques to brutal and that would be all for this video